My dear fifth grade children, how are you ma? Are you fine? Are you stay at home? Okay. Are you interested to study social science? Okay ma. Okay. Let us start to study. Today, which topic now we are studying ma? Can you say? Can you remember it? Yeah, say motions of the earth, isn't it? Okay. What's the meaning of the motions? Can you say? I'm oh, very good. Motions means movement of the earth. Okay. So we studied that earth axis, rotation, causes day and night, revolution, seasons, everything, isn't it? Any doubt for you? No. Okay, I recall that last topic that is how the seasons happen. Do you know how the seasons happen, Ma? That is mainly two reasons. What's the first reason? That is the tilt of the earth's axis. Isn't it? The second reason is the orbit of the earth around the sun. Can you remember it? Yeah, very good. Okay, fine, ma. Okay. First of all, the earth moves in two different ways. Do you know? That is, first moment is what, ma? Yeah, it spins around itself about its axis. Okay. So, that is a rotation. The rotation causes day and night isn't it the second moment is what ma the second moment is revolution that is it moves around the sun in a fixed path that is a revolution okay okay ma this movement of the earth about its axis is known as a rotation this rotation causes day and night. That is clear, right? Second revolution also. The movement of the air around the sun in a fixed path is called a revolution. Okay. Okay. Next, we study the seasons. How this season happen? That is mainly two reasons. Isn't it? The first one is the tilt of the earth's axis what is the meaning of tilt yeah you know very well because we learned it already isn't it tilt means slanting the orbit the second point is the orbit of the earth around the sun okay yes now recall that how the seasons happen do you know okay i am repeat that the revolution of the earth and its tilted axis causes four main seasons. Okay. This rotation causes day and night. Okay. Any clear it? Any doubt? No. Yes. First now listen here ma. The revolution of the air and its tilted axis causes four main seasons. That is summer, winter, autumn and spring. When the Earth's axis points towards the sun while orbiting in its elliptical path, it is summer. Okay. When the Earth axis points away, away means it not get directly sunlight. Okay. It points away from the sunlight. That is, winter can be expected. Do you understand? That is the seasons summer and winter then next this is here at the time so now we study that the northern hemisphere is summer at the time the southern hemisphere that is a south pole winter season isn't it these seasons are changes isn't it next now listen here second position what happened when the north pole is inclined towards the sun at the south pole is inclined away from the sun. 
okay so the northern hemisphere receives more direct sunlight if hemisphere receives more direct sunlight means that hemisphere is a summer season and away from the in which part it's away from the direct sunlight means that is a winter winter we expected that winter okay okay now listen here the south pole is angled first northern hemisphere is summer then the south pole at the same time northern hemisphere summer season means at the same time the southern hemisphere that is a opposite to the north that is northern pole that season is summer means there is southern poles the season what expected we expected that in the season can you understand that is last class based plan it can you remember ma okay okay fine now listen here the south pole is angled towards the sun and the north pole is angled away from the from so it is not get directly sunlight from the northern pole so that north side is the winter and the southern pole is the what southern pole is the summer season okay then we study that spring and autumn that is what's the position anyone okay now listen here that is not get directly facing towards the sun here at the time half a between positions that is not face towards but it is what's the position means the earth is tilted tilted means the earth is slanting how neither directly towards not directly away from the sun some it is a midpoint directly towards the directly towards not directly away do you understand is the midpoint of both not directly towards or not directly away from that that is a midpoint at these times both the hemispheres receive almost equal amount of sunlight so with the equal day and night so this um, um, spring and autumn seasons go equal day and equal night 12 hours day time 12 hours night okay ma these positions mark the seasons of the spring and autumn okay these positions mark the seasons of spring and autumn summer season means that hemisphere face towards the directly sunlight isn't it face towards the sun okay at the same time that northern hemisphere for example northern hemisphere directly towards the sunlight means at the same time the southern hemisphere away from the sun not get the sunlight okay so summer and winter that is opposite here third position that is a spring and autumn means it not directly face towards the sun not away from the sun that is a midpoint okay this uh, spring and autumn that seasons the day and night are equal 12 hours day 12 hours night can you understand okay clear it no okay now next eh? we study that another one important that is the rhythms of the earth's movement that is very very important one what is the meaning of rhythms spell that word r h y t h m s say repeat ma r h y t h m s rhythms what is the meaning of rhythms the rhythm means regular movement what is rhythm rhythm means regular movement okay so this happens year after year now listen here the regular movement regular movement of the seasons okay these rhythms of the earth movements only now we are study that rhythm means it is never that is regular movement regular movement of the earth okay that is the rhythms of the earth movements it is regular not at all change okay now listen here because seasons 
we have season. How the seasons happen? Yeah, we know that it because of the tilt of the earth axis. That's the first point. Season means that is a revolution. Rotation means day and night. Rotation causes day and night. The revolution occurs, that is a season occurs. Okay, revolution means, okay, that is a seasons. What are the four seasons? You know. Okay, now listen here. We have seasons because of the tilt of the earth's axis. The slanting of the earth axis. And the orbit of the earth around the sun. So, we have seasons. Okay, then. As the earth goes around the sun, one season follows another in a continuous cycle. Okay, ma, that is very important. Now, listen here. As the earth goes around the sun, one season follows another in a continuous cycle. This happens year after year. Because the movement of the year. The movement of the year. Okay. Now listen here. Yeah? This happens year after year. This regular movement of the seasons never changes. Yes. This rhythms of the year. This never changes. Rhythm means regular movement of the year. This never changes. Because the revolution of the earth never changes. This not to stop it. All the time this earth move, move, move itself and move around the sun is fixed path. Okay, it is not to stop. So this changes never changes. Because the revolution of the earth never changes. Every day we have rotation and a revolution. The movement of the earth is, it is, does not change. So, in the same way, the rhythm of day and night remains the same. Okay? Every day this rhythm, rhythm of, rhythm means, you think it, that is the regular change, regular movement, regular movement of the earth. So only we have daily, day and night we have every day. Remains the same because the earth always takes 24 hours for one rotation. Okay. The earth always takes 24 hours for one rotation. Earth takes 24 hours for one rotation. So that one day. Every day we have days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every day. Okay, ma. So, it is regular moment of the year. It is very, very important one. Okay. The rhythm of the year's moments are important for us. Isn't it? Any doubt for you? No. Every day, these rhythms of the earth moments are very important for us. Because, why? Because our lives are affected by the seasons and by the daily patterns of the day and night. They never pattern morning 12 hours daytime, after 12 hours night, then after ne next day again day, night, day, night, then year. Okay, so this is rhythms of the earth's movement. Isn't it ma? Okay, it is very very important one. Okay. Okay, ma. Then important facts of this lesson. Can you see that? Can you understand this? Yes. Now, we see the important facts. Okay. Now, listen here. First one is, the axis of the earth is an imaginary line passing through two poles. It is slightly tilted. What is axis? Did you study that question? Is what you what is axis? Do you know ma? Yeah. Say the axis of the earth is an imaginary line passing through the two poles. It is slightly tilted. Okay. Okay, so tilted means never fuck it. Slightly slanting. It is not correctly vertical in position. This 
globe globe is the represent of the earth it is also tilted in position okay tilted means just a slanting not correct vertical do you know okay second the earth has two types of movement okay what is that rotation and revolution now you can clearly understand what is rotation what is revolution okay rotation causes day and night revolution causes seasons okay okay fine now listen here the earth's rotation takes 24 hours and causes day and night the earth's revolution takes revolution this rotation takes 24 hours at the same time revolution takes 365 days and 6 hours okay mom okay fine now listen here the extra 6 hours okay that's also you know very well isn't it a year usually has 365 days but the extra but sorry but the year the takes 365 days and 6 hours to complete orbit around the sun okay this 6 hours from each year or add up in 4 years these become 24 hours these 24 hours are equal to one day this is an extra day do you understand this extra 6 hours add up to given extra day every 4 years okay ma this is a leap year <coughs> which has <coughs> 366 days okay the summer and winter seasons are caused by the tilt of the earth's axis and the revolution of the earth the summer and winter seasons are caused by the tilt of the earth axis and the revolution of the earth okay that is a seasons caused by the tilt of the earth axis and the revolution of the earth okay then equator divides the earth into two equal hemisphere last class we studied that equator do you know that equator equator means at the middle line equator means at the center line that is also an imaginary line axis is an imaginary line like that this equator is also an imaginary line this half way between the two poles that is north pole and south pole at the middle that is an imaginary line that is circling the earth it is called the equator okay it divides the earth into two equal halves that is northern hemisphere lies to the north of the equator okay while the southern hemisphere lies in its south okay that is middle that is the equator okay this equator divides the earth into two equal hemisphere that is northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere the seasons are always opposite in the two hemispheres that's also we know this northern poles that is say what season suppose summer season means that is south poles opposite to the summer that is a winter season then northern poles winter season means south poles that is a summer season okay no doubt okay now listen here the rhythms of the earth's movements never changes so the rhythm of the seasons and of day and night never changes okay the movement of the earth never changes every day it rotate so only we we have day and night okay so the rhythms of the earth's movement never changes so the rhythm of the seasons and of the day and night never changes okay ma okay okay fine this lesson this lesson over first lesson over so yesterday i gave three questions so no, sorry four question i given isn't it so today also i will give two question so you copy it neatly and study well okay ma any doubt means ask me okay then remaining today i will give two questions that is first one is how long does the earth for one revolution 
Do you know the answer? Yes, you know very well. I know that. Yes, I say. The earth takes 365 days and 6 hours to complete one revolution. Do you understand? The earth takes 365 days and 6 hours to complete one revolution. Okay, then answer in detail. Write a short paragraph to explain why a leaf year has 366 days. Write a short paragraph to explain why a leaf year has 366 days. A year usually has 365 days, but the earth takes 365 days and 6 hours for a complete orbit around the sun. A year means that is 365 days only. But year takes 365 days and 6 hours for complete one complete orbit around the sun. Okay. This extra 6 hours added to given extra day. This extra 6 hours added to an extra day every 4 years. Do you understand? 6 into 4 that is a 24. So a day means 24 hours. This is a leaf year which has 366 days. Okay ma? Can you understand? So these two questions also very easy question only. Study well. Okay ma? Now we study that book exercise. Okay? That first lesson book exercise. Now listen here ma? First one fill in the blanks. Okay? Fill the blanks in these sentences with the help of a diagram. Here one diagram is there. Can you see that? From this diagram we can fill these blanks. Okay. First one. In position Y it is the dust season in the northern hemisphere and the dust season in the southern hemisphere. That is first one now see the picture. That is a position Y here. In position Y, it is the summer season in the northern hemisphere and the winter season in the southern hemisphere. Because summer season means it gets sun rays directly from this hemisphere. Can you understand what? Then position, is it position? It is the winter season in the southern hemisphere. Because here this southern hemisphere, hemisphere only directly get the sun's rays. Okay. The northern hemisphere away from that. Away from the sun's rays. Okay. So, in, so I am reading the second one. In position side is that it is the winter season in the southern hemisphere. Winter season in the southern hemisphere means this hemisphere is away from the sun's rays. At the same time, northern hemisphere face directly from the sun's rays. That is a summer. Can you understand ma? Okay. Then, second one is, put a circle around the word or not. That is, do you know, it is very interested only. I am reading, you say that answer. Okay. First one is, some of the words are given. That is, rotation, spin, Earring, bangle, ball. What sensor? I repeated that same word. Rotation, spin, earring, bangle, ball. What sensor? Earring. For why? Rotation, spin. That is earth. It is related to the S. Bangle means balls also. We. It is the. It is uh, uh, ball means it is also globe like round and round spherical bangle also but ear ring is different okay then second one 29 February orbit leaf year 366 sun's rays that is which one is important sun's rays 29 February that is a leaf year orbit leaf year 366 so these words are related words okay then third one 
डे एंड नाइट स्पिन डी सी एक्सिस ट्वेंटी फोर अवर्स वॉट द एंसर आई रिपीट दट डे एंड नाइट स्पिन डी सी एक्सिस ट्वेंटी फोर अवर्स आंसर इज डी सी डे एंड नाइट स्पिन एक्सिस ट्वेंटी फोर अवर्स रिलेटेड टू एयर ओके दैन फोर्थ वन वन इयर रिवल्यूशन थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डेज एंड सिक्स अवर्स celebration orbit that is coordinate celebration because remaining words are related isn't it then fifth one winter polar night polar bear hemisphere tilted away from the sun winter polar night polar bear hemisphere tilted away from the sun polar bear this one animals remaining are related to the seasons okay hemisphere earth okay Can you understand, ma? Okay. Then now this is here. True or false? Can you study? I ask the question. You say the answer. Correct answer. Okay. Now this is here. The axis is an imaginary line running from north to south through the center of the earth. Is it correct or not? False. True or false? Is this statement is true or false? Is true only. The axis and imaginary line only. It passes. It is running means it passes north to south through the center of the earth. That is true. Any doubt? No. Okay, ma. Second, the earth axis is tilted slightly. Earth axis is tilted slightly. True? Yes, true. Then earth rotates from east to west earth rotates from east to west that is a false fourth point the fourth statement the earth completes one revolution in 366 days that is also false it is complete revolution means 365 and 6 hours only not 366 days okay then seasons or opposite in two hemisphere else that is exactly correct isn't it this seasons or opposite in the two hemispheres the next step the rhythm of the earth's movements never changes yes the rhythm of the earth movement never changes so only life curve day and night curve year month season isn't it so That is also true one. Okay, ma. Then choose the correct answer. One season for the one reason. Sorry, one reasons for the seasons is the rotation or revolution of the air. Season occurs by revolution of the air only. Is it? Okay. The sun rises early and sun sets in summer or winter. Rises early and sets later. That is summer or winter. Summer season only, isn't it, ma? Isn't it? Then sun rises late and sun sets early in the. That is a winter season. Okay. In winter, the polar regions how? Winter, the polar regions how? Day and night. No, continuous night. Isn't it? In winter, the sun's rays are more direct or less direct. Winter season means the sun's rays are less direct. Okay, ma. So, if you buy books after, you will do this exercise correctly. Okay, ma. Okay, study well. Okay, fine. Next class we will continue study well. Okay, ma. Very fine. Okay. we will see the next class okay fine thank you